So something we've talked a lot about on this channel is the Super Mario 35th Anniversary Collection for the Nintendo Switch. And some people got tired of me talking about it. This week's video, there was a lot of negative feedback. Oh, it's not happening this week. But I had a sneaking suspicion we were going to see something Super Mario related for the Nintendo Switch this week. And sure enough, this morning, a Super Mario 35th Anniversary Celebration Nintendo Direct went up featuring many games for the Nintendo Switch, some new products, new New game announcements and of course the Super Mario 3D All-Stars collection. So I basically want to go over what was said in this Nintendo Direct, talk about all the cool things that we saw and just give my overall thoughts on it. What's going on guys, I'm RGT85, if this is your first time on the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. But without any further ado, let's talk about the Super Mario 35th Anniversary Direct, all the cool announcements, all the games that we saw and what I thought about it. So kicking things off, they actually showed something off that was really cool and something that I didn't really think would ever happen, and that is a Super Mario Brothers inspired Game & Watch. Now of course the Game & Watch lineup was the first lineup of handheld systems that was done by Nintendo. They were dedicated individual games that you could play in a handheld mode, but this one is definitely something very special because it includes actual games on it instead of just sort of mini games that the Game & Watch original stuff actually featured. Now this will feature Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels and the original Mario Game & Watch game on it. Now obviously they have improved it with a full color screen and improved D-pad as well and honestly I think this looks really cool. It's definitely sort of a collector's item. It's really you know sort of just something that Super Mario fans and Nintendo fans in general would be interested in but I think this looks absolutely awesome. I think the actual system itself looks really cool and the packaging of it looks really nice. Now this will be releasing on November 13th right before the holiday season season, so definitely something very cool. Next up, we got a look at Super Mario 3D World Plus. Now, this was one of the games that was heavily rumored to be a part of the Super Mario 35th Anniversary Celebration. It's something that we've talked about many times on this channel, and now it seems like it is a reality. Now, this game will be coming out in February of 2021, and in case you are unfamiliar with what Super Mario 3D World is, it's basically the game that came out on the Wii U that, well, not a lot of people played because it came out on the Wii U. A very great Super Mario experience, though, definitely one of the underrated Super Mario games, so I'm cool with this game getting a re-release on the Nintendo Switch because I actually really like this game, unlike something like New Super Mario Bros. U, which I wasn't a huge fan of. Now this is a game that's actually getting some additional content as well. At the end of the trailer for this game, they showed off Bowser's Fury and sort of hinted at that, which is going to be some additional content added into this game. Like I said, this game will be releasing in the early part of 2021, February 2021 to be exact, so I'm looking forward to this game. I will definitely re-pick up this game because I really enjoyed it on the Wii U. It's been a very long time since I've played it, and like I said, it is an underrated game. Now Tetris 99 did a really good job of bringing t now, Tetris 99 did a really good job of bringing Tetris back into the limelight, and Super Mario Bros. 35 looks to be doing that same sort of thing, because it's Super Mario Bros., the original NES classic, but you're playing against other people online, and there's actually 34 other people, including yourself, making it 35. And what you're doing is you're playing through the levels, and the enemies you're defeating within these levels are then sent to other players' levels in the game. Like, it's absolutely crazy. It looks like a really frantic experience but I think it looks like a lot of fun you of course have to take out everyone else that is playing the game much like you do in Tetris 99 and this is a free game that's going to be available for Nintendo Switch online owners on October 1st I really like this game I think it looks really fun and hectic obviously the original Super Mario Brothers is a classic game but I feel like it's a game that everyone has played to death so to sort of reinvigorate it with some new content and make it sort of a new style of game I think this is going to be a really big success and a really fun experience experience. Then we got to look at Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, which this this is just absolutely bizarre. So there's going to be toys for Mario Kart that actually play in real life. But the way you control these toys for Mario Kart is with your Nintendo Switch. There's a lot of cameras and IR sensors on the actual toys themselves. And you actually control everything with your Nintendo Switch in real time and in real life because, well, they're real carts that are in your house based on, you know, the Super Mario Kart franchise. So 
this looks absolutely crazy to me. It's something that I probably won't pick up because I have a lot of carpet in my condo, so I won't really be able to play it. But I hope like some of my family members end up getting this because I would like to try it out. I would like to see the tech behind it. And you know what? I probably will end up buying it just to sort of see the tech behind it. But definitely some very interesting stuff. Mario Kart Live Home Circuit is coming to the Nintendo Switch on 1016. Like I said, it is a way to control actual carts with your Nintendo Switch. Then we got a sizzle reel of a bunch of random stuff for the Mario Celebration. There's going to be Mario Kart Tour events that are, of course, the mobile game. That is, isn't too bad of a mobile game. You know, it's free to play. So as long as you don't spend money on it, I don't really have a problem with it. There's going to be Super Mario Brothers related merchandise and Animal Crossing coming in March of 2021. There's going to be a Mario related Smash event and a Splatoon event. There's going to be physical toys and merchandise and clothing. All sorts of stuff is happening within the Super Mario universe for the super mario 35th anniversary celebration there's going to be commemorative pins and things like that just a bunch of cool stuff obviously nintendo is taking the celebration very seriously because it is their flagship title when you think of nintendo you think of mario then in a bit of a surprise announcement super mario brothers all stars is indeed coming to the nintendo switch online service now this is something we've talked about before on the channel i definitely felt that this was going to be added to the nintendo switch online service in case you were unfamiliar super mario brothers all stars released on the Super Nintendo and features enhanced versions of four Mario games, the original Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, the US edition, Super Mario Brothers 3, and of course, Super Mario Brothers, the Lost Levels, which was Super Mario Brothers 2 in Japan. Now, like I said, this game is coming to the SNES online service and it's actually coming out today, September 3rd. So this is a big deal. This is definitely a really cool addition to the Nintendo Switch online service. Realistically, it's four games, even though these games are kind of already on the system anyways. At least these are the enhanced versions of the games. And finally, the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection, something that we've been talking about for a few months on this channel, something that people were doubting that was actually real, is indeed real folks it is indeed real and you know what it's actually coming out in september like we talked about last month and so many people said oh rgt you're a liar you don't know what you're talking about look i really didn't have any inside information as to the release date of it i just felt like it was going to be a september thing and then look it actually is a september thing so of course the games included in this collection are super mario 64 super mario sunshine and super mario galaxy now these games have things like improved resolutions widescreen support and quality of life improvements on the controls and honestly these games look fantastic super mario 64 looks really great super mario sunshine looks like uh, just absolutely gorgeous it actually makes me want to play that game again and hope that the controls are improved to the point of where i'm not sort of annoyed with the game because i do want to sort of experience that game again and i think this game running on the nintendo switch just looks absolutely gorgeous and of course super mario galaxy was one of the best wii games to date you know, it was a fantastic experience for Super Mario fans. And yes, this collection is actually real. There's also going to be an in-game music collection in this compilation as well, where you can check out all the different tunes from the Mario games that are included, sort of like a jukebox sort of thing. And it's coming out in September. It's coming out on September 18th with a limited retail run and a digital release as well. Now, some people are a bit upset by the limited release portion of it. I sort of get why, but if you remember on the 25th anniversary collection on the Nintendo Wii, it was sort of the same thing. It got a limited physical release. It wasn't, you know, really a huge widespread sort of thing. So I kind of expected it with this. Just get your pre-orders in for this because obviously it's going to be a very hot item. But yes, it comes out on September 18th in a matter of a few weeks. So before Pikmin 3 Deluxe, I think that's absolutely awesome. And yeah, this event in general was just great. It really shows that Nintendo isn't really just completely asleep at the wheel. You know, they are doing things behind the scenes. And these quick release dates, these quick turnaround times for these games that are being announced is just absolutely amazing. Like, the Super Mario 3D All-Stars Collection is releasing in a matter of days for your Nintendo Switch. And it's definitely something to get very excited about. It's definitely something to get hyped about. And I think this shows that the Nintendo Switch does have some life this holiday season. Obviously, this is a day one buy for me. Uh, I'm just absolutely thrilled 
with this collection of games and I think it's gonna be a super good time you know everything we saw from this presentation was really really cool whether it was just very unique like the Mario Kart thing or just something that was completely out of left field like Super Mario Brothers 35 which is this online competition game definitely some very interesting things here and it's nice to see Nintendo sort of stepping out of their comfort zone with this stuff and doing some different things with the Mario franchise so those are my thoughts and my reaction on the Super Mario 35th anniversary event definitely some awesome stuff in here so let me know in the comments section down below what you thought of this event you know another surprise event from Nintendo I think these surprise events are gonna end up being better than the actual Nintendo directs we get because those little partner presentations just aren't doing it for me and as always guys thank you for checking out this video if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications check out other videos on the channel as well and as always I'll catch you guys on the next one later